Good morning, beautiful friends. This is Tanya at Psychic Crafts coming back to you this morning to make a little project. So follow along. Actually, you'd have to have the exact things, but I'm gonna craft with you and show you how to make a make, uh, shaker today. So this is the shaker that I'm making. Let's see if you can see that. This is by Momenta. And it's this super cute little shaker that I got. I'm gonna do a little, couple of little things different, but for the most part, it's gonna look something like that. Um, so if you're interested and have that die, follow along. Otherwise, um, I'll show you my process and you can use this to make other shakers too, because they're all, I mean, the process is the same. So I've got all the pieces cut out for two but I kind of, and I was gonna do one first and then put the other one together with you after having practiced one. But I realized I may not have cut enough pieces. So I thought, well, let's put, to, we'll just do the first one together and see how it goes. Because I know I have any, uh, the pieces for at least one. Now this particular um, die cut or this shaker, this framework right here is so narrow that foam tape won't work otherwise I would have tried it but I don't have any that narrow and how fiddly would it be to have to cut it in half so I just um, cut out several pieces of the frame and I'm just gonna stack them um, and normally I would do them all the same color but I want the top of it to be a dark blue because I'm making it to match this um, this ocean, uh, I can't think today, oh my goodness. This ocean advent calendar I'm doing. So I'm trying to use the same colors and color scheme that I'm using there. And so I thought, well, I did use, I don't, but I, would, I don't wanna use all this blue because I only have two pages of it and I still need to do the numbers inside the book. So I didn't wanna stack up all the blue. So I am stacking up a sandy color instead of this thicker craft paper. And that is going to be what I'm using. Now I'll also cut out the piece of acetate on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this between the thicker stack and that blue. And that hopefully will give me enough distance, enough thickness in my shaker to um, add the little shaker bits in there. Now this particular shaker came with a die cut to make little tiny snowflakes but I don't think I'm going to use those because I thought that would be a bit fiddly too and I'd have to run it through so many times so it came with where is it this one so it's gonna cut out all these little pieces and make a um, little shaker bits which is fine but like I said it would be a, a bit tedious and I have this stuff from Dollar Tree this faux snow that I'd rather use it's got sparkle to it and everything and I don't have I can't think of any sparkly paper that I have that would um that I would want to put in there but I love this and wanted to use this so I'm going to try it with this stuff so it doesn't have to be too thick I don't think um but it needs to be adequate so let's put glue on this one and this should be a fairly quick project since I've got it all cut out. It's just a matter of putting it together. And I know that shakers can be a little bit, um, a little bit tricky and you just, it's, it's not really, but sometimes to get them looking right can be. So don't be afraid to try. It's all about lining it up, trying to keep the, of course, trying to keep the glue off the acetate helps. I did get a little bit in there, but it's not too bad. This glue dries pretty clear, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we'll just kind of stick that there. Okay, now my background paper. Oh, I didn't even think about that. My background paper, I should have put on something a little more solid, but now that I'm thinking about it, no, that's not going to work. I think I'm gonna need some craft or some uh, thicker paper and I can use the same paper for this part. So I'm gonna use this round piece. Give me just a second, I'm gonna go in here across the room where you can still hear me 
and I'm going to run this through and make the back of that because the paper that I'm using is just that. It's just paper. It's not, it's not thick or sturdy at all. So that's not going to work for the back of a shaker, especially if somebody wants to put this on their tree. It won't last. So I need to put a thicker, sturdier background on that. So that should work. All right. And this will actually leave a nice surface too. So somebody can write on there um, a little message or to from or use it as a gift tag, something like that if they wanted to. just a little bit of sunshine coming through my window this morning how nice it's been kind of cool here but um, this last week which has been such a nice change I've been enjoying it I had the day off yesterday made some a Christmas present for my sister and um, trying to get some packaging set or some different things set up for different peeps which has been a lot of fun so that's gonna fit over just like that and it does leave a little room I feel like it might not be quite thick enough though I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of these backing these um, frames on here I I did two for each because I was gonna make two of these but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put four layers thick of this cardstock just to make sure I've got enough room. It doesn't feel quite thick enough. And I don't want to get to the point where I glue it together and realize it's not thick enough. So we'll just do it. Why not? Better too thick than not thick enough because otherwise your bits aren't going to move. So you do have to make it plentiful thick. Hope you guys are all doing well. I was looking for a quick video to do this morning before I have to go to work. Um, you know, this is my stress relief, so I gotta do some stress relief before I go in for the day. And I'll be closing the store, so I'll be chomping at the bit to get out and, and come home. I have tomorrow off, so I get to craft again tomorrow. So I've got some projects planned for that, and I'll be sure to post another video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And, um, Okay, now you can see it's getting thicker and thicker, just the way I want it. And I think that should be good enough. It shouldn't be, shouldn't need too much more. I would, you could, can also use the foam, but the foam that I have squashes down so much that um, I'm not particularly fond of it. Um, I don't know, I don't know. And I don't, I don't have any white either. I just had black and I didn't want to use black on it. So I thought this was a better choice for this particular project. Well, the trash man is here picking up my trash. I can hear his truck. Are you guys like me that you forget to take your trash out, out to the curb on trash day? I am so bad about it. I feel like they should only charge me half price since they only have to pick up half the time. I know it doesn't work that way, but it feels like it should. <laughs> I don't have that much trash. Most of the time I can get away with it. I'm um, just doing that like every other week, but sometimes not so much. My crafting schedule makes a difference too. We use a lot of paper, don't we? I try to use up every bit that I can. I have two buckets. I have a bucket of scraps that are tiny, that are great for um, great for die cutting little pieces or uh, doing other kind of ephemera and stuff like that. And then I have a bucket of pieces that are uh, quite a bit larger that I can use for some bigger projects. So. I also use them for die cutting, but anything less than a full page, whatever size that was, goes into that bucket. All right, let's see. A little bit of glitter on there somehow. Okay, I love that. I love that so far. So this is what it's gonna look like. Now I need to put my little goodies in there. 
there's already dust on here. How am I doing that? Try to get that out of there. Let's see if I can clean that off a little bit. Goodness. Okay. So that's gonna go like this. I think the sunshine coming through is showing me the dust. <laughs> Not that it's not there, but it's showing it to me more than I'm used to seeing. All right, oh, I'm afraid to open this. It's gonna be such a mess, I just can tell already. I don't know how I'm gonna seal it after the fact. I guess I'm gonna need a jar or something. Okay, let's get a little spoon. Trying to keep my mess down just a little. Because I've been cleaning up a little bit this morning. Not that you can tell if you can see my desk right now. You, you could tell that I haven't gotten too far with it. Oops. But, you know what? I think I'm going to put it on this side and do it this backwards. Because this side already has a little cup. So let's just do that. That should be more than... Actually, that might be too much. Let me try to put some back. All right. So, there's that. Uh, I don't even know where to put this so it won't get sp spilled everywhere. All right, let's put that over there. Now, I'm going to kind of spread this out so it's flat. And not on my edges. And then I'm going to put my glue around the edges. Hopefully you guys can see this. I should have checked while I was standing up. So like I said, shakers are, are pretty much all the same as far as putting them together. Um, even though the design may be different, your die cut may be different, but you can use squares or you can use anything as a shaker really, or make it into one. It's just up to your imagination, but the structure needs to be the same. You gotta have a base and you've gotta have space between the base and the top and your acetate so that there's enough room for your shaker bits to shake. And that's the, the gist of it, really. They all have the same element. And then it's up to you how to decorate it. There we go. Are you ready to turn it over? Let's see what we got. Uh, look, I put too much in there, it won't shake. Okay, so that's what we gotta worry about. So before it glues to or stays on, I'm gonna pull this backside off. Whoop. I'm gonna dump some of this out. And I'm gonna make a mess right now because I don't care, I just don't want that much in there. It's too much. Had a feeling that would happen and we were correct. So I should have just enough glue on there still and it should be fine. Want it to move, right? Ah, I'm just flipping it all over the place. All right, that's better. Even if it doesn't move a lot, I think we get the point and I think it's still beautiful. So I love it. I love it, I love it. And the next one, I'm gonna try something even different. But I think this is gonna be, I like this because it still, look, it looks frosty, doesn't it? Even if it doesn't shake that much, because it really doesn't. And it might just be that material sticking to the acetate. That's okay because it looks frosty. So it still accomplished what I wanted. And I still love it. So um, yeah, this is good. Okay, so next we want to decorate this a little bit. Um, oh, I forgot about this piece. We got to put the little top on there of our ornament. And that way we have something to hang it by. Even better. Okay, there it is. Now I want to put a ribbon on it. And because I used the ribbon, a particular ribbon, for the advent calendar, I'm going to use the same one for this. And it's kind of a seafoam green kind of color. I'm gonna use this one. This is a little bit hard to work with, so I'm gonna cut a little bit extra off. And the reason why it's hard to work with 
is because it's it's not a real soft ribbon because of the glitter. So it doesn't really, it's hard to kind of manipulate the way you want it. Let's kind of pull it this way. You guys want a trick that I have for making bows a little bit better it's not something that I made up or anything it's just something I learned but if you pull when you're pulling your bow tight pull from right back here at the back of the bow that part it'll pull your knot tighter around your bow and make it stand up a little bit a little bit better make it more full we'll kind of trim this off not that I made that up because I didn't that's just how bows work. And I'm gonna plug in my glue stick real quick, my glue, hot glue gun. Forgive my arm in the way there for a second. We'll wait for that to heat up. And this is gonna be pretty much it. I think I'm gonna probably add a little dangle on here. Something like that to make it even more festive. Then we'll be finished with it. I'm not going to do that on camera today because, like I said, i got to go to work. But, um, <laughs> you guys, if you, if you have watched this video this far, I want you to enter in the comments below your favorite sea animal. Don't say anything about winning anything or anything like that, but I will be making you the winner a ornament like this with a dangle and be sending it to the winner so we'll be doing a drawing later on watch over the weekend and I'll, I'll have it done but I in, to enter all you have to do is put the name of your favorite seat animal don't say my favorite seat animal is just name it in your comments just add it in there like you know whatever it is <laughs> and I will you'll be entered into a drawing for an, a shaker ornament made by me. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and um, are doing well. And like I said, for a chance to win, because I want to thank you. I'm getting so close to 300 subbies, you guys. I'm so very excited about that. And I want to figure out what I can do with that. I'll probably do um, a drawing for a gift card because I did I'm doing the Christmas swap, which if, you've, if you haven't joined in yet, you still have time. It's open till the end of November. So get your entries in. You don't have to email me or anything. Just send it in. You'll see the videos in my links and um, you'll be entered into that. So make sure that if you do, you follow all the directions and um, send a self-addressed stamped envelope for a flat rate envelope, or you can just send in the money whatever. I don't like to exchange money that way, so I prefer just send me an envelope that's stamped already with your information on it. That way I can put your stuff in there. So um, here we go. There it is. All set. Like I said, I'll be adding a dingle to it, and I think that'll finish it off nicely, but for the most part, that's how they're done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to enter that drawing below. Enter your favorite sea, an sea animal, and have a wonderful wonderful trash pickup day Friday. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.